Welcome back. Once again, the Knights of Columbus Museum in New Haven is presenting an exhibit of nativity scenes for the Christmas season. Christmas Across Africa marks the seventh annual creche display and features nativity scenes crafted by artists throughout Africa. Here to tell us all about the exhibit is the Knights of Columbus's Peter Sonsky. Peter, thank you for getting up early and joining us this morning. You're welcome, Allie. Glad to be here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tell us about your fabulous exhibit. Well, this is, as you said, the seventh consecutive year that we've done this. And it's interesting because we try to feature creches that come from different cultures, different regions of the world. And each of the seven years that we've done this, we've featured different regions. This year we've chosen Africa. And, you know, Africa has been a nation, a, 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 a continent that has had the Christian faith since the very early stages of Christianity. The people there are very proud of their Christian heritage and their expressions of it in art are fabulous. How challenging is it to get all these pieces here right in New Haven? Well, there are collectors from all over the world that have a fascination with creches and nativity scenes. So you find the right pipeline and you can get them. And they're really excellent pieces. So tell me about some of the pieces that we can expect. I think we might have some photographs up for you. Oh, here we go. Tell us about this one here, the African crush. Well, this is a, this is a, a traditional form of crush. You see the, the, the stable with the, um, with the shepherds and the, uh, the animals, uh, the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. That's something that uh, is very common that you would see. Uh, the, the history of the crush actually comes from St. Francis of Assisi out of Italy. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would actually do live nativity scenes. And over time, it uh, spread throughout all parts of the world. And uh, keeping the original biblical characters of the shepherds and the angels and the uh, barnyard animals is something that is um, as, as unique as the expressions of art are from all over the world, something that is a staple. What so materials are that. used? Uh, no. There are a variety of materials used. Some of them are sculpted. Some of them are uh, actually formed from clay or other, um, other materials. But, what are we uh, looking at here? What scene is this? Again, uh, a traditional nativity scene. This is uh, a detail of the three kings. We know of uh, the famous arrival of the three kings uh, that came from the east after uh, the birth of Christ, and so we've got a detail of that. This is another form of uh, uh, interesting African art. The, uh, the figures are, are very tall and slender, but you see uh, the shepherds in, in adoration of uh, the Christ child. Um, this is something that, for people who are accustomed to seeing crash art, might be a little bit out of the ordinary. But uh, I, I encourage you to come. We have lots of statuary this year. Uh, in the past, that hasn't always been the case. But the African uh, artists are very fond of statuary, both carved of wood or stone. Uh, we have uh, some uh, very excellent paintings as well. So there's right. lots to see. And when can people head over to the museum? Well, the Knights of Columbus Museum is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. But Ali, unfortunately, it's not open today or tomorrow. It's okay. People are busy Christmas shopping, right? But yes, uh, they are, and hopefully celebrating Christmas with yeah. their families. It will be open, however, every day after that, including New Year's. All right. So if there you've you got go. family or we'll friends in town, to the Knights come of on Columbus down. Columbus Museum. Looks like an incredible exhibit. We have much more information on it on our website, WTNH.com. And now, speaking of Christmas, we're going to turn to Steve to see a look at the forecast. Steve? Yes.